everyone. Welcome to the preview show delivered by FedEx. I'm Alan Kavana. With me as always, Marty Snyder from NBC. Marty, I am sick of all this rain. <laughs> are you ready to go back are. out? I know you are. You ready to go back out to California? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm ready to go out to California. I mean, I'm not so much worried about the rain. I mean, all <laughs> that is cyclical, but I'm ready to go out to California because the racing was fantastic last year. I think we're going to have a phenomenal race Sunday. I think since this race last year, controversy aside, Everybody's been very anxious to get back, so I'm looking forward just to seeing how this race plays out Sunday. There you go. The Sprint Cup Series heads out to Auto Club Speedway this weekend. It's race five of the season, and through the first four races, we've seen four different winners. Now, Marty, you've been saying it all year here on the preview show that teams yep. are going to make their assessments after race number five. Four races, four winners. Do you see this parity continuing at race five and throughout the season. Yeah, you know, I think we've certainly seen certain teams hit on it better than others. You know, I think, you know, I was talking to Matt Puscia about this the other day, the crew chief for Greg Biffle, and he said, you know, the box we had to work in last year was this big. The box we have to work in this year is this big, you know? So it's the teams who have really found that right slot in the box, if you will, that have really hit on things. You know, you certainly look at Kevin Harvick's team, and it's funny, you know, he's 21st in points, but I honestly feel like that in three of the four races, he has had the best car. I really feel like that. And you look at the Penske guys, those teams have really hit on it this year. I think Hendrick hasn't quite hit on it like they thought they would. Gibbs quite hasn't quite hit on it like they thought they would. So I think the parity will continue. I think we'll see a fifth different winner this week. But I think, you know, Matt Pucia talks about that box everybody's working in. Teams will figure out where to work in that box. Teams will figure out how to get their cars better. But it's fun to watch that process happen. It's fun to watch teams try and figure that out. I think all the teams will get on a little more level playing field. But again, I do think we'll see a fifth different winner this week. All right, and that brings us to our FedEx social pick of the week. Which winless driver is next to see victory? Kyle Busch, who won out there last year, Jimmy yeah. Johnson, the California guy, or Matt Kenseth, who had seven wins last year? You can vote at NASCAR.com slash social. Roush Fenway, as Marty mentioned, is holding its head high after Bristol after taking the first two spots at Bristol Motor Speedway. Out of four races this year, Ford has two victories, including two straight. Now, Marty, we're coming off a season where all the talk was about right. the Hendrick Chevrolets, the Toyotas of Joe Gibbs Racing. Now we're seeing the reemergence, as you mentioned, of Penske, Penske Racing and the Ford teams. Roush Fenway, what is working for those four teams? Well, I, I think they don't take too much from the Bristol win. I think they know they won that race on strategy. They don't sit there and go, wow, we're back. We figured out everything because we won at Bristol. I think they know that they had four cars in the top five, certainly fantastic for Ford. They know they have a lot of work to do for California this week. I spent a lot of time with Robbie Reiser and Jimmy Finning this week, and they were not happy with Las Vegas. They go back to the Las Vegas race, and they, and they know they didn't perform like they should have. They certainly were not able to keep up with some of the faster cars there. You look at the history of California Speedway, Roush Fenway Racing has been fantastic there. So they need to live up to a big history at, at, at California Speedway. But I think they have a long way to go. I think the Ford camp is certainly going in the right direction, but they know at places like California, these mile and a half racetracks, two mile racetracks in the, in the example of this week at California, they need to get better and they have a lot to prove this weekend. Certainly the Penske cars have been fantastic. I think they'll be very good this weekend, but Roush Fenway is a little bit behind Penske in terms of what we should expect this weekend. All right, you were talking about California. You gave us a little preview. You said uh, there's going to be a different winner uh, this weekend. Is. Who's your pick to win? It's going to be a Ford, too, and I'm going to go with Joey Logano. You know, when you look at the type of racetrack that California is, a very low-grip racetrack, a racetrack where you've got to search around, you've got to find the right line. We'll see this race strung out, but there'll be strategy played all over the place. And when I look at that type of driver, and you look at a guy who's, who's run very well in this new setup configuration. I think Joey Logano is that guy. You know, you look at Atlanta last year. They probably had the best car wound up finishing second in that race. Texas, another kind of low grip racetrack. They finished third in that race last year. So I think Joey Logano has the best combination of a guy who's hit it on this new setup, is good on a low grip racetrack, and was good at California last year before all the controversy and he wrecked Denny Hamlin. I mean, I think they've, they've been very good at this type of racetrack. A good pick, probably incorrect, though. We're going to get back to normal this weekend. <laughs> California. Jimmy Johnson, old six time, is going to get a win there out in California. He doesn't have a win yet this season. He's won there five times before, but it's been a few years. I think four years since he's won out there in California, but he'll be fine. He was 12th last year. They're going to finally hit on something. Again, this is just another field pick. That didn't really work for me last week when I picked Joey Logano at Bristol, but... That's right. Oh, you picked him a week early. Yeah. That's fine. That's okay. I love it when you go out on that really long limb. Hey, Jimmy Johnson, old six time, is going to make you, it six you know? time at California. So, yeah, as always, made the good best fan win. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Marty, and thank you for joining us for the preview show delivered by FedEx. Have a great weekend, everybody.